hello again so if you back to our win test and want to change the setting to fit the requirement of the installation of the ISO image that we chose for example the ESXi 6.5 we can simply click edit virtual machine and we need to give it at least 4 GB so we click on the RAM 4 GB this is the minimum for installing an ESXi and of course if we want to install the vCenter we need to give it 10 GB or 8 it's about which vCenter server you chose so here we choose 4, then we need to give it into CPU, at least 2 CPU, like that. Then in the hard driver, we always recommend it to have about 10 GB. So we click expand and then we add to 14 GB, like that. And we click expand, so automatically expanded the disk from 20 to 40 GB. If we try not to change the NAT, for example, the network setting from the NAT to bridge, etc. Then, if you want to change the ISO image, you can change it right here, the sound card, to display, etc. Then, another information that if, for example, we want to install a Windows Server and this installation, you will see that later we need to use, for example, two network adapters, for example, the ASXi with two network adapters. You can use a machine with more than one network adapter for high speed and high for the fault tolerance, etc. You will see all those information in my fault training course about VMware 6.5. You can check my profile to get information about the other course. So you can add another network adapter and sometimes you need to have two hard drivers. So for that you need to simply click on add. And then you chose, for example, another hard driver or another network adapter, a floppy driver, a CD DVD driver, a sound card, a parallel port, etc. So, for example, we chose a hard driver, we click next, we chose the IDU, the recommended, or the SATA or SCSI. So, next, create a new virtual disk, use an existing virtual disk. It does mean if you already have a virtual disk, you can use it directly right here to connect it to this machine. Use a physical disk if you have, for example, in your machine two or three hard driver, for example, a server with 10 hard driver, you can connect a file physical disk to this machine. So you chose it, etc. Of course, in my situation, I only have one hard driver, so this option is not available for me. So we chose create a new virtual disk that will take a little space from my hard driver to create this virtual disk. Then allocate all disk space this option it wasn't available at the beginning but here it will help you to allocate the file capacity can enhance performance but require all of the physical disk if you remember here this virtual machine takes only 5 megabytes even we give it a 14 gigabyte but this option right here if we chose allocate all the disk space and then we chose split disk into multiple five or store a single one. It's not important now. But this one will reserve all the 8 gigabytes from the hard driver. This folder here will have 8 gigabytes plus. Even this 8 gigabytes is uh, free of the data. So we, if we chose it like, like that, we click next. Then the VM test, the name of the uh, disk, because here we chose another disk this is the id of the uh, hard driver number zero etc then you click finish it will create in a new disk with the name test zero with eight gigabytes of course it will take a little time if we back right here and check the update you see right here s0 and this is one test zero this is test directly s1 s2 s3 but this one is test 0 with f1 and if we create another one it will be 2 f3 f4 f5 etc so it will take a little time so if you see right here the f1 take 4 gigabytes as you see here then f2 will take the other 4 gigabytes so when we use this virtual machine and use store the data inside this every part of this 
win test s1 s2 s3 will take about 4 gigabytes then go to separate the data between them until uh, get empty with h1 will take about 4 gigabytes of the data and when all this part have 4 gigabytes uh, use it that means the hard driver is fully charged and you need to have more space that means we'll add another part of the s hard driver so if you see right here the second one take 4 gigabytes and the third one will take 65 megabytes so this is the new hard driver added if you check right here is pre-allocated that means take the space from the hard driver if we back right here and check the size of this virtual machine like that you see it's about 8 gigabytes and a little megabyte that does not show up in the size then the same if we want to add another network adapter we simply click 8 and we chose network adapter click finish so you automatically add adapter number 2 then you can choose between NATE or bridge etc you can choose any configuration for this second network adapter so you click OK now the machine have 4 GB of RAM and 2 CPU now we can start the installation of the ESXi without any problem so see you in the next video